Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nupula. Today is not a Nubs episode, but today I'm going to be talking about my personal thoughts on Konami and what they are currently doing. If y'all have not been keeping up with the latest news on either YouTube or on some of the gaming and former magazines or anything of that nature, Konami has been doing a cleanup in their company, so to speak, where they have canceled Silent Hills. Uh, Hideo Kojima is going to be leaving the company um, by December of 2015, and there's also kind of other things like the stock, or where Konami has lot has uh, gone away from the American stock markets. Now, some of these are more political matters I normally don't, don't get involved in. However, this does leave me to one particular question: What is going to happen to the TCG of Yu-Gi-Oh? Now, for anyone who doesn't know, TCG and OCG are two different things. The OCG is the is original um, card game, and that is the Japanese branch of the Yu-Gi-Oh game. And TCG is um, tradable card game, which is the American branch, I guess you could say, or American, Europe, and other places. So, what it is, is that, will Konami not support the TCG anymore in the later in the later days or in the distant future? A lot of people are going probably going to say no, because, you know, they're making too much money and stuff like that, but that might be true in most cases. But they, they were also making um, a good amount of money when it came to... Silent Hills and Metal Gear, but they're now making these projects to where um, they're no longer going to support it. Or at least they're not going to have the driving force of these games. Um, Konami has stated in one of their uh, press reviews, which I'm pretty sure you can find either on the internet or on YouTube or something like that, that Silent Hills may be canceled, but they still continue. They're still planning on continuing making Silent Hill games. Though, for me, the last good Silent Hill game, and I say good, you know, not best or anything. And the last good game I consider Silent Hill was Silent Hill um, Three. Anything beyond that, to me, was just you know garbage and everything like that. It was like it was more Americanized, but the biggest issue I'm having right now is what is going to happen for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Are they going to try to make it more OCG? Or is it Japan, Asia, and all that? Or is there something more different going to happen? Like, is there something... Are they going to try to do something? We just don't know right now. And that kind of scares me because back in the days where Upper Deck Entertainment was running Yu-Gi-Oh! for Konami, they had um, they had how do I explain this? Upper Deck Entertainment uh, distributed cards for Konami. And I believe it was 2008 when Konami stated that they wanted Upper Deck Entertainment to no longer um, distribute because they were having issues with um, Upper Deck Entertainment forging uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So that caused a lot of issues. And eventually Konami won the court battles for most areas, I think in Europe, they actually lost the court battle, but for the most part, Konami took complete control over the TCG distribution of the of the card game and everything. So, at that point in time, 
the TCG, for the most part, uh, was kind of at a stalemate at what was going to happen. Was Konami going to continue distributing the card game, or were they going to cancel it altogether? And thankfully, Konami said that they was going to go ahead and keep distributing it. Now, going towards 2015, where all this mess is going on with what's going on in the company and everything like that, I'm not saying it's you know not going to be possible or anything like that. I'm just saying that it might. Like I believe that they have they have the power to do it. They have the power to say we don't want to distribute anymore to the TCG. We don't want to distribute to America. We don't want to distribute to Europe. We don't want to distribute to any place TCG related. We just want to focus on OCG. And for gaming and everything like that, that's what they've been doing right now. Like, they are more focused on mobile gaming now. And their their priority for, like, consoles, possibly PCs and everything, is either secondary or it's not going to be something that they care about. I think, from a business standpoint, you know going to what Japan itself is going towards is ideal. But on a consumer standpoint, this is kind of scary because Sega is already done with. Capcom is already done with. They filed bankruptcy and I don't remember who bought them out, but they already have that issue. And we have... There was one other company, I can't remember off the top of my head, that already has another issue. But pretty much we're losing game companies. As not only just video games and everything, but we're losing franchises. Like, we're, we're losing... We're losing good games that... Um, that's been around since the 80s. At the very... You know, at the very latest. And it's very scary because it's a possibility that we might go into a video game crash, like back in the 80s. Like it was 1984, 1985 when that happened. Or maybe that's when they got out of the crash. But the fact is this. There's a possibility that something big is going to happen. Whether Yu-Gi-Oh! will be pulled away from the TCG market... Or, it will not, but there's something bigger going on. It's like, we're, we're losing ground, not just card game-wise, but we're losing ground from good uh, Japanese game developers. Because mobile gaming is the new franchise for them now. And the problem with that is that it will never be what we're really needing because Japan, yes, Japan will definitely have a say in that but the fact of the matter is is this unless they say you know, F you to the western coast um, I don't see them really doing anything in terms of pleasing you know their um, their company and all but I mean maybe I'm wrong but right now we're at a pretty much a standstill of what's going on like Yu-Gi-Oh wise it may still be going on and they may just you know, continue pl bringing out Yu-Gi-Oh! into America, into Europe, and everything like that. Because they have worlds. They have the Shogun Jump uh, subscriptions for America as well, and Europe somewhere, I believe. They have the YCS. They have nationals. They got regionals and everything like that. Konami America is profitable. And Konami Japan, you know, co or does the same thing. So, in that respect, they are... Um, pretty, they're not really losing any value in it. But, as I said, it's something that 
we at least have to consider. We, we, when it comes to stuff like this, I am not someone who's going to believe, you know, face value when it comes to political or business matters because it can go either way. It can go either good or it can go bad. And if you're wondering why I lost that or anything like that, I'm not really paying attention to the game so much, so I'm going to lose more, no matter what at this point. It's just I want to talk about what's going on. And I believe, for the most part, that I'm going to be wary about what's going on on the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise until they actually make an announcement of what they're going to do. I don't see it being very profitable for me to go into like any mass trades at the moment. Like I'll still get trades and everything like that. So that's not the issue here. My biggest issue right now is what Konami is doing and what we can do. Uh, and the gaming industry in general. I'm a video game player. I play console. Like, I don't mind a PC and everything like that, but I can't be a um, PC master race because, for one, that's egotistical. And for two, I'm pretty sure back in the 1930s and 40s, there was a master race before, and history had decided to give them the big boot. So, yeah, we're not... I'm not even going to say much more about that, but the fact of the matter is, is that I'm a gamer. I don't care what I play on, as long as it's good enough for me to be able to work with and you know, clean enough for me to be able to, um, like the game mechanics and everything like that. As long as I'm able to do something with it, I don't care. But I'm not going to be these gamers that are like, if I don't have a hundred and what is it, 120 frames per second at the minimum, I ain't playing it type deal because that's just ridiculous. That's not a gamer. That is a compulsive, you know obsession with computers like besides I mean gamers play for fun they don't do it for unnecessary requirements I don't need to spend over a thousand plus dollars to be entertained I do I do that just well with maybe sixty dollars at the very least and maybe eighty dollars at the very most but just checking here real quick. That second graph is not going to be fun. All right. But it's just a simple matter of fact that, like, I'm a gamer. Straight up. I'm a casual gamer, if you really want to be specific about it. But that's who I am. Nothing's going to change that about me. And when it comes to Hugo and everything like that, it's the same thing. I'm a casual gamer. I, I, I applaud the competitive market because... Without them, things would never be fought up. But there is really two sides of that. And that's where the casual players are really hit hard on. Because you got the competitive market who's wanting to always improve their decks and everything, even with the current stuff they have. And that's fine. You should always try to improve your deck, the deck that you care about or anything like that. And then you get into the people who are so simple-minded about particular decks that they'll never listen to reason they will never hear your opinions on it or anything like that regardless if they're good or bad because I always try to take in what I know like Burning Abyss people are gonna argue is like it's not as good as it used to be but I see differently on that but I'm willing to listen to what they have to say about it it's a simple fact because Burning Abyss can go either way. They are still at the top 32s at the recent uh, events that's been going on. Did they make first place? I honestly do not know. I do not know much about that information. Probably not. Necros probably got it. But they still have chances. And Quill Forts also have that good chance. Um, Satellanites definitely have a good chance because they're designed for stuff like that. 
Like, they literally know what they're doing. Like, Satellanites themselves will always be a decent deck to deal with. Because they have high traps. So, my view is this. Like, Konami-wise, I'm going to be wary, at least. Like, I'm not going to be like, okay, I'm going to buy a few boxes and see what I can get. I'm just going to wait it out. Like, I might get cards and everything like that, but it's not going to be in something that, um, that's going to be extreme. At least from my view. Because it could go sideways. Like, I caution any duelist and everything like that to keep up with the Konami issues and their policy changes and all that. Because there's a lot going on in Konami we still don't know about. And they are not really they're not really known for mentioning anything bad when it comes down to um what's going on in their company. Like they've been never they've never been known for that type of stuff. And honestly, I hope nothing goes wrong. I mean, in terms of the uh Yu Gi Oh community and everything, because it would be a shameful if something did. But, I mean, it's going to happen. Something is going to happen, and we do not know what's really, what it's going to be. The only thing I do know is that you should at least be prepared. Prepare for what? Prepare for anything. That's always been my motto when it comes to stuff like this. Because if you don't, it's just going to mess you up. So... That's pretty much all I got to say about it. I'll finish this duel up for y'all. And then we'll see what happens. Like, and he mirror forces me. Awesome. Well, you know what? He can go ahead and do that. Because I don't think I normal summon yet, have I? Uh, let's see here. Is No, he's not in here. Uh, however, I do want to grab you. I got here. And we show grab you. We'll go ahead and normal summon you. And we're not going to use his effect yet because I'm pretty sure... Nah, we can. Like, we gotta get rid of that at least. Uh, yes, because, no. I don't even know what he has. Monster-wise, I don't know. But yeah, this is my 60-card Burning Abyss deck right now. Um, if I was paying more attention to everything. Hello. Uh, yeah, we're going to Dante that. I do not know why my frame rate is dropping. Though it might have something to do with certain things I got active in the background, but... Uh, do, 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 make sure I don't have any unnecessary cards in here. We'll do that. There we go. And I'll get the draw out of this. <laughs> I hope. No. But, uh... Like, I don't know what he's gonna do. He can't summon Magnet Warrior.
right, so I won't get the draw, so. However, I am going to ruin your day here. Um, let's do this first. Yes. Who do I want to send to the grave? Um, like, technically, it could be anyone, I guess. But we'll send you, just so I can draw. We'll get what I need, I should say. I'm half tempted to grab that, but... Uh, let's do that. Griff, yes. No. Like, I'm dropping for some odd reason. But, you know, it's not as bad as it could be. Well, we're definitely going to be burning you. Uh, we'll activate this, because he's pretty much dead at this point. Unless he regakis me, which I'm going to be mad about if he does. Because it never fails. Um, whenever... Oh, I can do that. Yeah, okay. Whenever... Um, I get him out anymore. I am always um, getting Regaikid, Dark Hole, Book of Moon, you name it. And it's not practical for what's currently going on. Yeah, we'll just put you back in the deck because you're taking a lot of damage. And yeah, we'll go ahead and use you. That way I can get this in the grave. Why is the frame rate dropping? Close that window. Yes. Uh, we definitely want to do that, just in case. Once he surrenders or anything, I'll go ahead and close the video here. And I do appreciate y'all for listening to this video. Probably it was a bunch of nonsense for most of y'all, but for anyone who really cares and who really wants to keep up with what's going on in Konami, uh, I appreciate it. Because this is something that we do need to consider what's going on. Well... I appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen, and please leave a comment, subscribe if you want to. Good night.